in section 3.12, he mentioned the form of the Dirac green function inside a rectangular box. And he just mentioned the method, how you could get that form, but didn't show you how to do it. So I'll do it here. So the problem is a rectangular box. So you have a coordinate system X, Y, Z. So the box is um, something like this. The length in X is A, the length is Y is B, the length in Z is C. This is the origin. For the Rekagrin function, of course, all the surfaces on all the surfaces g is zero so if you're trying to solve the green function g that depends on x and x pi equals to minus four pi delta x minus x pi x. okay and for this problem of course you use the rectangular coordinate so that becomes Plus x minus x pi, plus, uh, delta x minus x pi, delta y minus y pi, delta z minus z pi. So you have the product of three delta function. Um, for this form of the green function, we'll expand both x and y delta function using the uh, awful normal basis. And then z will solve z, the equation involved the delta function c this is unlike the other form that where you expand all three delta functions using of a normal basis but uh, we'll um, do this problem so that uh, this delta function this product of these two delta function and we have done that before actually so basically, the awful normal set uh, that satisfy the boundary condition that on all the surfaces are zero. So especially for this x and y in x and y. Um, so an x equal a and x equal c or y equals b and y equals c or the function should be zero. So what we need is sum over all the um, integer L and M infinity. And then the sine L pi X pi over A, sine L pi X over A, and sine M pi Y pi over B, and sine L pi Y over B. Okay. And then uh, you need to normalize this, uh, the of, of a normal basis and the normalization for each of them is two divided by the name. So it's four divided by A and B. Okay. So this is uh, this two delta function. So you can substitute this into here, this part. Okay, and uh, then uh, we can uh, uh, expand the green function also, the green function x minus x pi as uh, equals to, as um, equals to, um, so, you can use the exactly the same expansion coefficient in front for over A and B, sum of L, and sum of M. But then uh, you have a coefficient, uh, let's just call it little g, that would depend on L and M, L and M. But then the function uh, depends on both C and C pi, C and C pi. 
and then this all this uh, sign information Okay, so now you can substitute this into the Laplacian. When you do the Laplacian, um, the sine term, basically this one, the sine, you take the second derivative of sine, you will pull out the negative L pi of A squared, and likewise the sine in the Y term, you, you pull out negative M pi over B squared, Okay, and then the rest is second derivative of this little g. Okay, and that uh, equals to the whatever is left of the of the delta function. So, and and this two delta this two delta function x and y is using this one going to here. Okay, and so therefore. After you do the substitution, so you have a second order. I should actually write. Uh, yeah, actually, I can use total derivative because uh, we are treating c prime as a parameter. So d squared dc squared glm. And then all of this uh, is uh, giving you a minus this square and minus that. So we're defining a new variable. So it's uh, KL, and Jackson is K, capital KLM square, that's GLM. Now the rest of the, um, the rest of the delta function minus four pi delta C minus C pi, okay. This KLM square is just uh, L pi of A square plus L pi of uh, M pi, M pi of B square. Okay, so now we're going to solve this equation. And to solve that, uh, of course, uh, we separate into two regions. One is C greater than C pi, the other is C less than C C pi. Okay, so uh, so for like uh, GLM would be equals to so for C is less than C pi, you can have uh, something like a uh, what we call it, uh, it doesn't matter, so a sign. It would be a sinh function, KLM times C, because uh, that would uh, make it zero and for uh, Z equals zero, for C is less than C pi. And for Z greater than C pi would be sinh uh, KLM. And that is uh, less Jackson for is C minus C. It actually doesn't matter. It's just a negative sign, C minus C for C greater than C pi. Okay, so that uh, when Z equals C, that would be zero. Also satisfy the boundary condition. But then there will be a coefficient in front. So the coefficient, uh, whatever you can write, is like A L M. This, this will be just temporary because we'll get rid of that uh, notation later. C pi. So the coefficient should depend on C pi because uh, that depends on C. Okay, but then the, the condition is that uh, the green function should be continuous as Z equals C pi. So as Z equals C pi, the two parts should be exactly the same. So, and then Another condition you can use is that the green function is symmetric between Z and C pi. So it means that uh, this A function should be equals to this sin function, except C change the C pi and put it here 
for this region C less than C pi, and likewise, and, and multiply by a constant, and this B function will be sinh of this one, with C equal C pi in here, and then a, another constant, and then the fact that they are symmetric, so the constants should be just the same. So what we use, uh, whatever we consider another constant, C L M. So you have this sinh K L M C smaller sinh K L M C minus C greater. Okay, so combining the two uh, regions, the solution this C plus a uh, C greater and C minus just uh, comparing uh, just comparing C and Z pi. So if Z Z is less than C pi, then C is smaller than C, and C greater than C pi, and C is greater than C pi, the second region, then C greater is C, C smaller is C pi. Just, so then you, this will recover this two, and then this will be continuous uh, at C equals C pi, and it will be symmetric between C and C pi. So, so that is the correct form. Now to determine what this coefficient C sub LM is, uh, we'll uh, use this usual method, just integrate uh, both sides of this equation over a, um, over a distance. So integrate the equation DC over C prime plus uh, minus a little bit minus delta and C prime prime plus delta and let delta go to zero and uh, delta goes to zero. Okay, when you integrate this equation, go to here, uh, the second term will be zero because uh, this is continuous. And so the first term will give you, because it's total derivative will be d g l m d z at uh, evaluate at uh, C prime plus delta and then minus D G L M D C C prime minus delta and then uh, that equals to the right hand side when you integrate that over the this region the delta function will give you one, so this would be minus four pi. Okay, and now this derivative, when DLM, the first term C prime plus delta, Z is equals to C prime plus delta, so uh, C will be greater than C prime, so C greater will be C, C, Z smaller will be C prime, and when you take the derivative, uh, the first term will give you CL. Both will have CLM, so CLM. And the first term C, Z smaller is C pi, so you have C pi here. And for this, for the second factor, C greater is C, Right, and uh, when I take derivative, change will become cosh. Okay, and then when I take a derivative, you have negative sign, so you have a negative sign, and you have a cosh C, a KLM, C minus C pi. Okay, and then the, the second term is C pi, C is C pi minus C. So C greater is C pi, C smaller is C. So we we'll take the derivative, you had the plus. Uh, actually I miss it. When you take the derivative also when you, you have a KLM out, so you have a KLM out. Okay, 
When you take a derivative c, c small, it's c, so you can take the derivative, you have KLM, and then this become a cosh. Cosh of uh, KLM times C pi, and then sinh of uh, KLM C minus C pi. Okay. So this is the, the left hand side, this equals to minus four pi. Okay, so this is, now you have uh, this two uh, factor of, of uh, this uh, hyperbolic function. So cos times sinh, and then minus sinh times cos, and you can use the formula for, for, uh, for that one. So that become uh, cos, uh, uh, this actually becomes sinh of uh, the summation of the two. Okay, so that, so that becomes sinh of this one plus this one. So cancel with the c pi. So there will be no c pi in the left hand side. So klm times clm times sinh of uh, klm times c that equals to minus four pi. Right. Uh, that equals to minus four. Uh, that is uh, minus, did I? Get the sign right. So uh, anyway, that so that will allow you to solve for this uh, this PLM uh, the CLM coefficient. Just the this is it's just minus four pi divided by uh, KLM divided by sinh of this one, right? So. Uh, okay. And now you put it back to this, put it back to this, this sign. And then uh, that would be the G sub LM. And this G sub LM, put it back to here. Then you get the, get the, Green function. Okay, so except that uh, seems like there's a negative sign. So uh, you can figure out what is wrong. So we substitute this into uh, substitute this into the, the Laplacian. All of this will give you a neg negative KLM. Okay, and. The green function has a negative sign here. And uh, let's see here. Uh, So, uh, yeah, actually, uh, I missed a negative sign here. So, we take a derivative. This this is the second term. So you have a negative sign. So, this is negative. So, this means uh, CLM is four pi divided by KLM sinh of KLM times C. Okay, so put it all together and put it to this 
the screen function. So we have four over a and b, and then multiply by four pi. So that becomes a 16 pi. So g x x pi equals the 16 pi over a b, and then sum over l and sum over m. Yeah, one. And then uh, you have this sine pi sine L pi x over A sine M pi Y pi over B sine M pi Y over B divided by this K L M sin charm. KLM times C and then multiply by the sinh KLM times C sinh uh, KLM times C minus Z. Okay, so that would be uh, the form of the Green function. This is three point Jackson three point one sixty eight. Okay, so. Uh, I think that is the correct form. So that's uh, how you get to this form.